Alex here with vapepassion.com and today we're going back to the basics with a couple of Enjoy products. The Enjoy disposable e-cig and Enjoy's new convenience vaping system. Enjoy reached out to me and asked if I would review some of their basic beginner products and normally I would turn something like that down but uh, something she said in her email persuaded me to do it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it to you. So she said I understand that you are beyond disposable products, but our goal is to get as many people into vaping at whatever level and we feel like these new products are a major step up in the market and a true test for us is seeing how more serious vapors react and if they think it's a big improvement from the original e-cig days. So I'm totally on board with that. That's the reason I'm doing this too is because I want to get anyone at any level interested in vaping. Uh, I just want to help people quit smoking cigarettes. I happily agreed to, to review these products. So first I'm going to give my first impressions. I'll use these for a couple of weeks and then I'll add more thoughts to the video. So first I want to take a look at the Enjoy 1000 Ma battery. This is for their pre-filled tanks. She sent me a tobacco flavor. They have other flavors too like menthol, blue and blackberry, uh, vanilla bean, and peach tea. So I was a little disappointed that she sent me tobacco at first, but uh, after I thought about it a little bit, I'm actually glad that she did because these products are designed for for people just quitting smoking. So I'm really interested to see how these perform. I quit smoking in 2010, so it's been a long time since I've had a cigarette, so I don't know how good of a judge I will be at, at um, determining how useful these will be for a uh, uh, someone just quitting but I'll do my best so uh, first I'm gonna take a take a look at this battery this is a looks like an ego style battery and you can get these for twenty dollars so there's the battery yeah it's your your ego style battery the ego threads on top here it's also got the 510 threads on the inside here so the bottom unscrews and that's where you charge it it's got a really nice feel to it, really soft. Five clicks turns it on. No changing settings on this. It has short cir circuit protection, so you can't use this on anything less than one ohm. And one ohm is actually pretty good for something like this. And because it has the 510 here, you could still use an RDA. It would look kind of funny, but you can use it if you wanted to, as long as you build it above at one ohm or higher. So here's the tank. These are disposable tanks. You can't fill them up again. They come in a, a wrapper. Hey, it's a pretty nice tank. I think it's glass. Looks like glass. Now it might be plastic. It's pretty nice though. So you just screw it on. That looks pretty good. That's a nice looking device. Alright, let's see how it vapes. Decent amount of vapor. Not bad. Uh, I like the design of it. I like the I like the amount of vapor it, it gives. I'm not a big fan of the tobacco flavor though. It doesn't remind me of cigarettes, but like I said, it's been so long since I've had a cigarette. I don't really know what a cigarette tastes like anymore. Yeah, well so far I like it. Okay, now let's take a look at the disposable e-cig. So this is blue and blackberry flavor. I'm glad she sent that to me because that sounds like a really good flavor. So it says here 300 puffs which is about a pack of cigarettes. These cost about five dollars. Four eighty according to the website. Four eighty per battery. Alright, just slide it open. And there it is in a, in a, a wrapper just like the tanks. It smells good. It's also nice and soft. Mmm, that's pretty good. Pretty good amount of vapor with that too. Now I'm used to getting a lot more vapor. I'm used to doing lung hits, taking big hits, so this probably wouldn't cut it for me, but I think this would be really good to have if you wanted to take it out to a bar or something because if you didn't want to carry around a big bulky vaporizer, Actually, this would probably be even better if you wanted to take it to a bar, but you know, if you're looking for something real small and discreet, I think this is pretty nice. It's really light, too. It's nothing like the e-cigs that I started with. 
So it's disposable. You can't change the cartridges on here. So this is 4.5% nicotine by weight. And after after uh, vaping this, this is a really tight draw, a lot like a cigarette. This one, after the disposable e-cig, I'm even more impressed. It has quite a bit of airflow. I think you could actually do a, a long hit on this. It draws tighter than you would get on a on a fancier tank, but it's not bad at all. This is 15 milligram nicotine, by the way. And that's surprising. It's actually, it actually doesn't have a really bad throat hit like I was expecting. So if you buy these, you can use them on any other kind of battery if you wanted, as long as it has the Ego thread. Um, but you can't, they recommend not vaping it at higher than 3.7 volts. Probably burn out the coil. The three milliliters of e-juice in there. So I'll use both of these things for a, for a, a week or so, and then I'll come back and tell you my thoughts. Okay, so it's been about a week and a half since I've first got these, and uh, I've been using them regularly. Not a whole lot here gone, as you can see, and the reason for that is that there's just a lot of nicotine in this, and when I'm, I find when I'm using this, I don't need to vape hardly as mu nearly as much as I do with my other vaporizers. That's actually the reason why I use with more powerful devices like this why I use six milligrams nicotine because I like to vape and I like to chain vape I love the flavors so I keep the milligrams low but you know if you just need some nicotine just to get you through your lunch break or whatever something like this would be perfect and this too um, so I've learned a little bit more about both of these products after using them and and doing a little bit more research so these tanks here these refillable tanks they have a vertical coil inside. The battery itself, it operates at 3.7 volts when it's fully charged. I don't know how low it gets as the charge dissipates, but 3.7 volts when it's fully charged. The disposable tanks here are built at about 1.47 ohms, according to my ohms reader. So using a calculator, when you combine these two, uh, 3.7 volts and 1.47 ohm coil, the battery is pushing about 9.8 to 10.3 watts. That's pretty decent for a, a small little thing like this. Tanks are about $6 each, $5.99, uh, 3 milliliters, and should probably last you, most people, at least a day or more. I mean, I'm not a heavy vapor, but it's lasted me more than a week. Half, half of it has lasted more than a week. Although I should admit that I've been using some of my other vaporizers in between but I've been trying to stick with this for the most part. You can buy these batteries for $20 or you can get a three pack, $44.99. In case you're wondering why you might want a three pack of batteries, it's because these are only 1000 milliamp hour batteries and if you're vaping heavily, they're probably going to die on you throughout the day. You know, if your battery dies, you're, you might end up going back to smoking cigarettes. So it's safe to have at least one backup. So we had a family get together last weekend and I took this out to see what everyone thought of it. I took this one too. I let everyone check out both of these. Um, so I was asking my wife while we were there what she thought of this and she says it looks feminine which I think is funny. I I guess I can kind of see that but I, th I think it just looks classy and I asked my cousin too what he thought and he said that he said without me prompting him he said that he thinks it looks really classy. So I think Enjoy did a really good job with designing this because the couple of guys that I've talked to about it say it looks classy and my wife says it looks feminine so I would guess that it would appeal to both genders. My wife was saying she likes how small it is and how it would it looks like it would easily fit into a purse. So now to, a, a little bit about the flavor here. So this is the classic tobacco or original tobacco I forget what they called it. I don't have the packaging anymore but so I think it kind of tastes like tobacco and I let both my brother and my friend try it and they also said that they don't really think it tastes a whole lot like tobacco maybe a little bit but um, it's a little sweet that's not to say that it's not good it's, it is tobacco-esque though for sure like you can definitely tell that it's a tobacco flavor okay now a little bit about this one so I let my friend my cousin and my brother all try this one too they all like the flavor uh, my cousin didn't want to give it back 
I don't know if you know what those primetime cigars are. They they sell them at liquor stores and 7-Elevens and stuff. But my brother, when I when I let my brother try this, he was telling me that it reminded him of the prime times When we were younger, we used to walk down to the 7-Eleven on the weekends. Uh, we'd walk down there drunk, go pick up some prime times. That was like our, our weekly ritual. But my brother was telling me that if these existed back then, he would much rather use this than smoke a prime time. There's not a lot of flavors. This is really the only flavored option. They have menthol and tobacco, and then there's this blue blackberry. So I wish there were more flavors in this line because I, I've ended up really liking this, but I can understand why they don't because these are really designed for people trying to quit smoking. And people trying to quit smoking probably just aren't very interested in a lot of different flavors, like me. When I first quit smoking, I wanted I wanted an electronic cigarette that looked just like a cigarette. I wanted it to taste like a cigarette, and I wanted to have a throat hit like a cigarette. I wanted it to be just like a cigarette. I think that Enjoy did a really good job of making this just like a cigarette, except for the, the look. And I think the look is really nice. People might like that. When I first quit, I wanted something that looked like a cigarette, so I don't know if I would have bought something like this, but I really like this now. Based on a clinical trial that Enjoy did, they claimed that this is 90% 90, 90 as satisfying as a real cigarette. And after having used it for a week pretty regularly, I think I'd have to agree because it has a strong throat hit, um, but not too harsh. Not It doesn't like burn my throat, but it has a strong throat hit just like a cigarette. The nicotine is, is really strong. Just a, a few drags and I'm good. It's really light. I don't have a cigarette to compare it to, but it feels as light as a cigarette, maybe just a touch heavier. It has concentrated flavoring, they use 50-50 VGPG to maximize the vapor thickness and volume. And it has a soft filter. I don't know if you can see me squeezing it, but it has a soft filter just like a regular cigarette for a little bit more of an th authentic feel. So I think this, the daily, is perfect for someone just quitting. And maybe even for advanced vapors because after having used it, I want to keep one of these around all the time now. I think it's really handy for those times when, say for example, you have a lunch break or you're late to your lunch break or one of your short breaks at work and you just have to hurry up, get your nicotine fix and then run back into work. Uh, I only need like six drags off of this and I'm good. I, I get all the nicotine that I want. Something else I really like about it. Um, so I work at a desk and I'm on the phone, not all the time, but sometimes. And I can't vape my normal stuff when I'm on the phone with a client because it's just too noisy. This is pretty much silent. No noise at all. My clients don't know when I'm using one of these. So if you're in a similar situation, you might want to pick one of these up and keep it at your desk. So basically, after using these for about a week and a half regularly, I'd have to say that I'm really impressed with both of these. They're entry-level products, but they're great. The engineering of the convenience system and the daily are, are perfect for beginners. I always hear stories of, of people trying to quit smoking and then they go and buy a cheap gas station e-cigarette and they, they don't like it, they don't enjoy vaping because it's not like a real cigarette. It doesn't give them that throat hit or the good flavor that they crave, not enough nicotine, so they just disregard vaping and they go back to smoking. I don't think people would do that with something like this. I think uh, these Enjoy Dailies, they're going to help a lot of people out and really get people into vaping. And then the convenience system, I think is a great next step up above from the, the daily. It's more powerful battery, a nice tank, and you can put any kind of tank on here since it has the Ego threading and the 510 threading. So I have a, a refillable Ego here. I don't use these anymore. I just have them sitting around. But So you can buy an Ego tank like this. I This tank is five dollars and then however much the cost is of your e-juice. That doesn't look as pretty but it works. I don't want to vape a lot of that. This is actually a sleepy time blend and it's the middle of the day. And then like I mentioned earlier you can use an RDA on here too. Let's see so I have the Freak Show Mini right here built at 1.3 ohms so as long as your atomizer is built at 1 ohm or higher, you can use it on the the daily uh, the Enjoy convenience system. So, looks kind of funny, but it attaches and it fires. You 
can use an RDA, you can use a tank. So here's a tank, as long as it has the 510 threading, you're good. So this tank won't fire on here. This tank is uh, built at 0.5 ohms, I believe. But just to show you what it looks like. I'm actually really liking both of these, and I think I'm going to start keeping... I'm going to keep this in my backpack all the time, and I'm going to keep this at my desk. I'm thinking about buying another one of these two to keep in the garage, just so I can take a, a couple of quick hits as I'm going in and out of the garage every once in a while. Another thing I really like about this, and what I've noticed as using it, because I commute by bus to work, and so I have to walk from the bus stop down, from downtown Denver to my office. And when I'm using this, it doesn't produce huge clouds. I don't have this big mod in my hand, and it doesn't attract a lot of attention. So, you know, as I'm walking to work, I just take a couple of quick drags. I don't bother anybody, I don't draw any attention, and you know, that's it. I really like the discreetness of vaping it in public. So I've checked a couple of 7-Elevens, one up here where I live, which is in uh, Thornton, Colorado, and then two in downtown Denver, and no one is selling either of these yet. I, I asked Enjoy, and they just said that they're really new products and they're just starting to roll out, so it's, it's probably just that they're on their way. They're, they're slowly rolling out across the country and I know that Walgreens also carries them so if there's a Walgreens in your area you might want to check and see if they have them and you can also buy them online on Enjoy's website if you're looking for a beginner product or even just something small to keep in your backpack or in your garage or wherever at your desk uh, I recommend picking either one of these up I like them both